just can't believe I'm yours Every day I look at you And I think I must have done something good restaurante que más condiciones reúne para regresar es este, sin duda. Viendo un poco las opciones, nos dimos cuenta que tenemos una terraza fabulosa. Caben siete mesas a más de dos metros de distancia. Bueno, yo me emocioné porque empezó a rodar la, la idea, empezó a rodar todo. En un arrebato de media locura, hemos decidido abrir este sábado el restaurante por primera vez. Esto es empezar de cero. No se hacen pedidos de nada sin que yo lo sepa. Es muy importante ponerle sentido común. Sí, al final solo vamos a tener esa mesa ahí, porque a lo mejor veo esa mesa un poquito cerca. Eso es el dono yo per perdu porque comercialmente no te exida. Si eso va, sí. eso no va a ser la hostia. Me da miedo ahora poner todo en marcha y volver a un nivel parecido al de marzo. Es que en ese momento yo no tenía el control de mi vida. Hay que saber pagar. Sí. Welcome to Cine Latino en Casa, Cine Latino at Home, October 15th to the 22nd. Uh, this unique program of the newest award-winning Spanish and Portuguese language films from around the globe, presented by the MSP uh, Film Society, the regional exhibitor of international independent cinema since 1963 and celebrated, celebrated in uh, 2021, the 40th anniversary of the International Film Festival that happens in spring every year. And also, of course, the uh, society also has programming year round. We know you will enjoy the show available virtually this year through mspfilm.org and hope uh, you can spread the word. Uh, in this uh, year of great challenge and uncertainty, your encouragement is more important than ever, providing critical support to your favorite nonprofit and um, arts organizations, uh, to the artists, communities, and cultures reflected in the stories. Again, thank you, gracias, obrigado, thank you. Y bienvenidos, Oscar Bernacer, Jordi Lorca, Un placer total tenerlos directos desde Valencia. It's a pleasure having you, Oscar from Valencia. And Jordi, where are you? ¿Dónde estás? In Barcelona. Jordi from Barcelona. My goodness, what two amazing places. I'm just, you know... Uh, sort of mouthly, mouthing the, the, the pinchos, the, you know, that you the can tapas. have there. The tapas, las tapas, perdón, perdón, me fue el País Vasco. So I'm sorry, a little bit of Basque country just slip into this conversation. Eh, bienvenidos, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Jordi, thank you. Uh, I will translate the questions uh, in Spanish uh, if needed, uh, and you can answer in Spanish. Puedes hablar en, en español y yo te traduzco sin problema. Okay, uh, gracias. It, so we have um, the privilege of having a sneak preview of uh, La Receta del Equilibrio, a film that just had the uh, world premiere at the San Sebastian Film Festival. I want to use this opportunity to also thank uh, Mijan Vasquez and Frick Agency for um, being so generous and, and letting us uh, play this film throughout the festival. So, Oscar, um, how this venture um, began? Uh, because I know you uh, have been working with Ricard Camarena, uh, mm -hmm. one of the subjects of the uh, La Receta del Equilibrio. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, that relationship and how mm -hmm the idea of making La Receta del Equilibrio uh, mm. started. Well, uh, thank you for uh, inviting us to, to, the, to the festival. Um, 
the idea uh, to make a documentary uh, was three years old uh, because uh, Ricard and Anas uh, have a previous relationship um, uh, making a TV a docu a docu series for TV. Uh, uh, and it's called Cooks, co mm. Cocineros, and, and we, we made three seasons uh, among 2017 uh, to 19, and um, when we finished, when the, the, the docu series end, ended, um, uh, we talked uh, with uh, Ricard uh, and um, to make to make it the 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 documentary film uh, for for him, uh, but most of the content uh, can uh, can be can be used to to the to his documentary uh, must must be used in the in the documentary series. No, mm. so we. Um, we spoke about the meaning of the of the of this film uh, in December. Um, after we start the the conversations, uh, the first conversations, uh, Ricard and uh, Marie Carmen uh, told uh, called me called me to 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 say that uh, another production production company called to um, call them to to make uh, uh, because um, um, a, a new docu series for uh, Amazon Prime, Prime Video uh, will be taking uh, um, place uh, <laughs> and and they call him to to be one of the mm. of the characters on in, in one episode. So the content uh, who we were working uh, um, was very similar to the content to this to this series. So for me, that was a setback, and and I I spoke with with the, with Ricardo and Marie Carmen, uh, looking for for another content, and uh, we decided to make a more intimistic uh, documentary about um, all the um, I think it was the, the idea was uh, make a, an intimate portrait uh, uh, and and incorporate to the to the story uh, uh, Marie Carmen because uh, we 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 thought that she is essential in the in the in the project and we start to 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 work in this way uh, uh, we start the the first interviews and the, the first uh, shooting in in january and and february uh, but covid the covid struck and uh, everything stopped and uh, and during the lockdown, we are we we stay at home and we can uh, we, we 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 could um, think about the the future of the documentary and and we thought the the, the possibility uh, to revolve uh, the the meaning of the documentary uh, f refocusing uh, in the in the uh, get back to the to the restaurant the reopening of the restaurant. Uh, Ricard was very pessimistic because uh, they uh, he 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 thought that maybe in, in two thousand and twenty one can be uh, reopened the, the the restaurants. So we we have a deadline uh, in in June. Uh, in and I said okay if you if there is a possibility to reopen the restaurant before June. Uh, we we want we can uh, make the this 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 new uh, way of film. No? And so uh, I I just uh, um, I I need one one thing uh, um, is uh, a warning uh, um, a warning one one week uh, before uh, to prepare my my crew. Uh, and 
and they and they say okay we conclude we all conclude that that, that was a, a good idea um, and and they say okay uh, I, we, we we think you are crazy because we we think we are not open the, the restaurant they, until next year but uh, things changes and, uh, and and we can make this film so um, Jordi eh, a ver te llama Oscar y te dice, vamos a filmar. O sea, estamos filmando, les agarra la, el COVID. You were shooting, everything was so fine. Then COVID, you know, struck. No, struck es, like, es, y, todavía y... Un poco, es un poco más, más complejo porque el documental, el documental justo antes de, de, de que cerraran, de que confinaran en España, le faltaba solo una secuencia, básicamente. So, they, so the, the story is a little bit more complex because <laughs> right like a, a week before uh, the, the, the virus strike, uh, uh, they only had just maybe like one scene to finish the documentary that they had in mind at the time. Uh, and, and, the call, and the call from, from Oscar is uh, all, of the, all, all of the material go, go to the old trash. <laughs> and that was... <laughs> ¿Qué, qué, almost, ¿qué, tal si rodamos, qué, ¿Qué tal si rodamos un documental eh, sobre cómo abre? Lo cual es, es una decisión arriesgada porque en realidad todos los recursos o la mayor parte de los recursos se habían usado ya, económicos, eh, se habían usado ya para, la, para el rodaje previo y eso, y eso en okay. realidad en el, en el documental ahora son un minuto y medio, bueno, un minuto, bueno, si, luego hay partes que se han reutilizado pero pero en realidad lo que pasaba, el, el planteamiento inicial, es, cambia totalmente. Y bueno, eh, yo creo que, que al final nos tenemos que... Eh, al final salió bien, ¿no? Salió bien y nos tenemos que, eh, que, que analizarlo con, la, con el resultado. Porque, pero bueno, en su momento sí que fue una decisión eh, so, drástica, ¿no? Es como drástica y, y arriesgada, ¿no? So, so uh, what Jordi says is that um, somehow, uh, Oscar, what uh, said to Jordi in that phone call was literally, we're throwing away what we've been shooting so far. Uh, we have no money because we have already used most of the resources we had for what we already shot, but we are going to do a new, a different documentary about the reopening of uh, the restaurants by Ricard and um, Mari Carmen. Uh, during the uh, pan pandemic. And so it was really risky and challenging for them. Um, and, uh, but somehow Jordi thinks that, you know, it was worth and uh, eventually the result ended up being uh, a good one. But let's, let's, you know, stop for a minute. Vamos a parar aquí porque, okay, you, you, you have to start shooting with all these new protocols that at the time, you know, like everybody was just kind of creating their own, you know, guidelines. Cada uno en ese momento estaba como creando un, un poco sus propias, sus propias normas o, o, o reglas para seguir filmando, ¿no? Porque era como muy arriesgado. Eh, que, ¿Cómo fue eso? Esa, esa transición o, o ese momento en el que ustedes literalmente están haciendo camino al andar, ¿no? How was that, you know, transition when you were actually, you know, uh, walking a road that nobody has uh, walked before? Because you have to change, you know, the way you're shooting, you have to, you know, uh, wear, you know, different kind of equipment, you have to think everything in a different way. Tienen como que pensar todo un poco distinto. Sí, bueno, Oscar podrá, podrá hablarte más sobre el, sobre el, cómo lo aplicaron en, en, en ese momento, o sea, en el, en el día a día que fue... La ventaja es de, de, que estamos hablando, al estar hablando de un documental y más un documental de seguimiento, el, el, equipo, el equipo es un equipo, fue un equipo muy reducido, con un planteamiento técnico también reducido y todo eso facilitó, facilitó las cosas. Y, por, pero facilitó las cosas porque al final no era... Muchas, muchas, eh, muchos de los protocolos al ser, eran protocolos que... Que se, que se venían o que empezábamos ya a aplicar de forma personal, con lo cual no estábamos hablando de, de, de estos grandes cambios de la industria de estos últimos meses en los que estos grandes, estos grandes crews 
de rodaje sí que han tenido que modificar de forma sustancial, eh, sí. de forma sustancial eh, sus protocolos. Más allá de que, evidentemente, como cualquier persona en esas fechas, estamos hablando de, de, de junio, mayo, junio, pues evidentemente cualquier persona que salía a la calle eh, tenía que seguir una serie de protocolos y evidentemente el, el equipo lo siguió. Pero bueno. So it was, it was difficult, but um, somehow, because it was at the beginning, they started sort of following the protocols that they were personally uh, applying at the time. They didn't yet get to the point uh, when they were shooting in uh, May, June, uh, with all the new regulations that big productions are having today with big uh, crews, etc., where things are a little bit more complex. Uh, but um, they basically sort of uh, use uh, their common sense and, and just the, um, the, yeah, the protections that they were using in their uh, personal life. Um, so the, uh, one of the other things that is um, very interesting about the story you tell is these farmers that are, you know, the, also the core of uh, Ricard's cuisine. Una, una parte importante de, 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 de la historia eh, que tiene que ver con la cocina de Ricard y, y en especial con el documental son los campesinos que siguen eh, trabajando y, y, y tienen que sobrevivir. Um, Oscar, can you tell us a little bit more about that? How are they doing? Um, what happened with them? What's, what's going on uh, with uh, these farmers and um, all this you know, way of living? that suddenly mm -hmm. is uh, absolutely disrupted. Mm -hmm. Well, the, 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 the fields, they are, they are croplands. It's like fields and allotments. It's between, between fields and allotments in, in the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and it's uh, all is around the city and it's a, a very important part of the, the, um, the uniqueness of the city. Um, and and so, we're talking Valencia, correct? Yeah, around, yes, yes, around correct. Valencia. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Valencia. And I, in my opinion, and uh, the um, the huerta we call huerta. Uh, um, the orchard, orchard. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, when, um, when, um, in the in the last years, the the, the water was in danger because uh, the, in the name of the progress of uh, mm. uh, uh, um, the the water um, molestaba. Uh, you know, so the the the, the, the orchards, the the small um, sort of uh, lots, uh, were kind of bothering the big ones, yeah. the big uh, mm -hmm. producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can say this in in Spanish. If, if sí, sí. Pues habla habla si quieres en español mm -hmm. si te sientes más. Um, Hace muchos años, yo cuando vine a vivir a Valencia, eh, leí unas noticias, bueno, leí, las, las vivimos todos, eh, sobre unos desalojos en las, las, en las huertas, porque iban a, a, a dar esos, esos terrenos a otras, a, para otros que, que hacer, ¿no? para, para construir y para políticas de grandes, de grandes eventos. So, uh, a few years back, <laughs> when um, Oscar went to Valencia, He's uh, read some uh, news uh, regarding some expropriation of uh, some of these uh, lots uh, that uh, were uh, used as orchards uh, to be maybe developed into some other um, big projects, uh, uh, housing projects or some other big project. But the, the, the orchards belong to the, uh, las, las, las huertas, ¿Le pertenecían a la gente o eran zonas uh, No, no, no. Belong, belong, to the, belong to the people from, from that land. Uh, and uh, uh, now, uh, during the lockdown, uh, that huertas uh, will be essential for, for the city. Uh, and the people who work in the huerta, like Tony, like the, the farmer, uh, will be essential for the city, for the Uh, uh, the balance uh, um, of the city, and I think it's a moral victory for the for every all the people who uh, defends the mm. that kind of life, the, um, who is very important for the the 
the environment in the in the in the balance in the in Valencia. Uh, so so now they are kind of making a little bit better. So it's like a, a one of those blessings in disguise. Um, the pandemic somehow helped a little bit the orchards uh, around mm -hmm. Valencia. Um, that's that's nice to know. Uh, let's move a little bit back to the characters, the main characters, uh, uh, or the other main characters in the story. Um, and I have to say, I love this relationship between Richard, Ricard, and uh, his mom. And I'm <laughs> sure you have stories about them too. I mean, it's, it's very sweet to see this very grown up chef, uh, you know, Michelin star winner, etc showing her mom, you know, the, the, the drawings for the new restaurant and everything. And, and it feels like he's, a, you know, he's back into being a little kid, um, showing uh, the mom, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. something. I mean, it, there is a very sweet uh, relationship that you capture uh, on your documentary. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? And for the people who are watching and maybe don't know um, so much about you know about who Ricard is, but who is Mari Carmen? I mean, she she is, I think, one of the only uh, uh, winners of uh, Michelin stars ever as a chef. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us a little bit? Puedes hablar si quieres en español si te sientes más cómodo. Bueno, igual vamos más rápido. <laughs> bueno, son son dos personas eh, muy cercanas y muy familiares y el el, el hecho de la de haber vivido eh, los últimos años de, de una manera tan rápida y tan, tan eh, centrados en su trabajo eh, les ha hecho eh, en esta, durante este confinamiento les ha hecho eh, reflexionar mucho acerca de las relaciones con su, con su familia So they are very close to each other uh, but they've been living very fast their lives um, prior to the pandemia and somehow uh, the pandemic gave them the time to sort of uh, pause and, and reflect about things. He, he, uh, so they, they, you know, when, when, when um, you know, you see them, it seems like today uh, Ricard is, you know, kind of the one who makes things happen and then uh, uh, Mari Carmen is more like in a supervisory kind of, of, of role. Is that the case? Um, mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us a little bit, because of course, everybody, when you, you see these films, um, you're like, have you tasted some of those uh, amazing work of art? Because those are not, it's, it's yes. not like a, like una, 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 un, un, un plato común. O sea, th those are like <laughs> something from a museum. Yes, bueno, en mi caso sí, yo como cuando ruedo con él, eh... Siempre acabamos comiendo, eh, pues tengo la suerte de haber, de haber disfrutado mucho de, de la comida que, que él prepara y de otros cocineros. En el caso de Oscar, um, he's very lucky because when they finish shooting, he's able to try some of the food they do. Um, and, but but then um, you know, going back to this is is this is how it works now that i mean ricardo is the one who is um kind of the creative mm -hmm. mind and and uh, mari carmen mm -hmm. is staying a little bit um you know mm -hmm. uh, mari carmen mari carmen is essential for uh, the project big i think ricardo is uh, can no can achieve the the goals in, in his professional life uh, without mari carmen and and she's uh, she's very clever she's very patient uh, uh, she's very respectful with uh, the, with ricard and and it's, it's perfect for is the 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 perfect uh, couple uh, for work together and so has the restaurant opened i, I believe it, it it did right uh, during the film mm -hmm. at the very end um is it working how is how is you know the restaurant going, what's, what's going on? What are some um, of the things that, you know, kind of after the, the film is finished, what happened afterwards? Mm -hmm. uh, due that uh, Ricard is uh, very, very close to, to 
Valencian people. He has a, a, a very uh, most clients uh, are from Valencia, and mm. and they are not uh, suffering uh, as this this situation uh, as uh, a restaurant who is focused to children's and um, foreign people. Um, mm. And in this case, they are going well. Uh, I don't know who can, uh, who can uh, happen tomorrow, but at the time it's, uh, it's okay for, they are, they are, they are happy. Uh, so they are open and they are, um, you know, the, the restaurant is, is, is it's working. Running. It's working. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so what's going to happen with the series? Are you, you know, going to keep on, working on this um other documentary what you know what what happened with the material that you you have um or you're completely changing the sort of the scope of your of your documentary uh i i don't know uh in the in in the, um in the case of the the the, the receipt for balance is we 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 start a, 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 a way and we can swim and we can sink and and, and Jordi said that we, we we only need one more one more shooting day but it's not real <laughs> we need more, one more week and and the the documentary was in the in the 50 50 35 percent before the lockdown and uh, um, there are many times when the, you you can get uh, a, a program and um, revolt it and and say okay I, I can I can try to to get this way and I don't know but in this case it, it, it works and the other material I think is uh, for us for for the forever and, and, and maybe close forever. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I, I was, you know, because we're in this virtual festival and um, quiero preguntarte, a, bueno, a los dos, a Jordi and a Oscar, eh, ustedes estuvieron en San Sebastián. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite festivals ever. Uh, and this, this year, San Sebastián had a, a physical um, a festival. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, how was it? Uh, the film premiere there. What was the reaction? Um, how did you feel? You know, I, I guess it's you know maybe it's not so much about the film, but we're all envious of the fact that you actually had this amazing mm -hmm. opportunity to to be with your crew and to you know to uh, share that um, happiness of of screening a film in front of, a, mm -hmm. of an audience. Can you tell us a little bit about that uh, premiere in San Sebastian? Mm -hmm. It was, uh, for me, it was uh, very mm, emotional. Um, and it's, uh, it's a good memory for, my, <laughs> for the rest of my life. And uh, um, it was a good, a good end, uh, a good finish for, for these three years working with uh, close to Ricard and Marie Carmen. And, one of the things more uh, I I get more um, surprised was at the end of the movie, the the audience was very moved uh, about the movie because uh, many people uh, uh, was um, uh, chef or, or 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 friends of of other uh, people who get uh, who who gets restaurants and bars and. The, the 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 sensation uh, who maybe they can't open again uh, no 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 not all the people uh, uh, can open again the, their business that feeling uh, was after the movie and very pe many people was uh, talking to us in this in this sense very much. And, and, and especially thinking of, uh, you know, premiering a film in San Sebastian, which is one of the centers of cuisine in, uh, in Spain, and I'm sure uh, also the restaurants there um, were affected. 
Jordi, ¿qué, ¿cuál fue tu, tu, tu experiencia, tus recuerdos? Eh, imagino que parecidos, pero ¿qué, qué, 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 qué te pasó aquí, ahí, ahí estando en, en San Sebastián con la sí, peli? Fue, mi, mi, mi sensación fue un poco frustrante porque, porque no pude asistir a la premier porque estaba, con, estaba en otro, este, con otro proyecto y... y, so, y, y, y o Jordi... Sea, Sorry, so Jordi couldn't, couldn't, attend to, couldn't attend the premiere because he was working in another project. So sí que, bueno, como dice Oscar, eh, es, un, es un buen final para todo este trayecto que, que no solo Oscar, sino que, que la productora ha recorrido junto a Ricard y era una forma también, nosotros acabamos hace, como ha dicho Oscar, acabamos hace cerca de una, un año, un año, bueno, un poco menos de un año, eh, la serie con él, que ha sido un trabajo eh, mucho más cercano, porque, por, porque se ha extendido mucho, mucho más en el tiempo. Y, y como ya comentado Oscar un par de veces, eh, ha, sido, es, ha sido un buen final para todos, tanto para él como para nosotros, también por las características del proyecto y, y en, en lo que se ha convertido, que al final no, no, deja, no deja de ser un, un documental gastronómico, pero es un documental que, que trasciende el hecho gastronómico para convertirse más bien en una lección de vida de, de cómo bueno, eh, ellos en este caso pero como sociedad también nos, nos podemos y nos debemos de, de nos debemos de reconstruir frente a la adversidad y, y bueno, ya te digo, yo creo que es, que es el, el colofón perfecto para mí So, uh, again, Jordi couldn't attend the premiere but for him, uh, the the fact that uh, the film ended up in, being uh, shown in uh, the premiere in, in San Sebastian was like a very positive, perfect ending for something that they've been working on for almost three years and uh, a year working on uh, the TV series that was, of course, a, a closer um, um, to, to record for, for many months and, and all this you know, process of putting together this documentary that was one thing and then change. Um, but one of the things that Jordi says is um, the fact that this documentary ended up more than just a culinary uh, film, uh, a film about just uh, um, a couple of, of, of chefs, but really um, something that inspires, uh, it's just a hopeful story that transcends uh, the culinary world um, and, and gets into just, you know, being a, a great, Um, inspiring story, which I agree 100%. Um, one of the things, and I really encourage people to take the advantage, Minnesotans, um, I have to say, but I hope it's going to be in many parts uh, of the United States um, uh, later during the year. Um, the, the reflection that um, Ricard says at some, at some point where he was um, saying something like, If I didn't do something every minute of my life, I thought I was wasting my time. This pandemic uh, gave me the time and suddenly now I can spend an hour just looking outside the window, watching a tree. And I think that's, you know, like it really uh, encompasses this sort of lesson that we're all learning from you know, having to put the brakes during this pandemic. And, um, you know, I, and, and I, it, it's, it's, when he says that you really understand, and I, you know, the title of the, the film, uh, The Recipe for Balance, um, <laughs> which I think it's, uh, it, it speaks of many kind of balances in the film, you know, of course, the balance between them two, between Marie Carmen and, and Ricard, but this balance that you have to find and, uh, and, Uh, also something that Jordi just said, which is uh, having to adapt, having to learn new strategies. And I'm, you know, leads me to, you know, my next question, which is, ¿qué es lo que han, uh, como, cuál fue la decir, la película ocurrió, filmaron, ¿qué, ¿qué les ha quedado a ustedes? O sea, ¿qué han, ¿Qué han aprendido? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué les pasó a ustedes? ¿Han cambiado eh, a través de este año? ¿A, a, 
les, les pasó algo por, por haber estado filmando en pandemia. What happened to you? Uh, you know, big, you know, what happened through uh, the, 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 the shooting? There was any changes uh, in, in your perception, in your life, in, you know, of course, aside from, from the big ones, which, you know, we all suffer, aparte de los, de los generales, ¿no? Pero... Um, a little bit deeper. ¿Piso <laughs> uh, yo, Jordi? <laughs> um, in my case, um, to shoot in the pandemic uh, makes me feel uh, about the the three years uh, lived by by with my my crew and my, um, um, beside Ricardo and Mari Carmen. And uh, I th I thought uh, in in this in all this time um, uh, in the during the pandemic and and not in the in, during this time during that time. No, I don't know if I can explain it. Uh, um, uh, no, no lo disfrutaba. Me di cuenta en la pandemia que no lo disfrutaba. Oh, y so ahora when... disfruté mucho el rodaje en la pandemia porque fui ca uh, I, I, I was aware from the, the that was that was I living in the, during the, the shooting. That's fascinating. Uh, what mm. Oscar says is that somehow he realized that he, when he was shooting the previous three years, when he was shooting uh, with the crew and with Ricardo and Mari Carmen, he was not really enjoying. Uh, the, the, it was the, everything time. was fast. Everything was fast. We can but, uh, think it. But then, when he, he had to, when they had to shoot during the pandemic, he actually started enjoying the uh, the shoots. Jordi, ¿qué, ¿cuál fue tu experiencia o un poco yo creo, tu... sí, yo creo que sí que me quedo, me quedo con un en general con, nos ha pasado con este proyecto y nos ha pasado también con algún otro proyecto también que teníamos intención de, de distribuir y que, y que por, por motivos de, de la pandemia tuvimos que tomar decisiones como muy, eh, muy rápidas, muy ágiles y luego se demostraron que fueron positivas a raíz de la, de la respuesta. Eh, un, que, también en la línea de lo que... De lo, que, de lo que pasó con, el con este documental, que también se tuvieron que tomar decisiones, que luego eh, al final se ha demostrado que, que, que a lo mejor está más, no, no más aceptada, sino que el camino que se tomó era un, ha sido un camino que, que ha sido casi satisfactorio. Eh, me quedo un poco con esto, que también va un poco en la línea de lo que, de lo que es el cuenta el documental en sí. Y es que muchas veces uno puede planificar eh, mucho su vida, ¿no? la puede puede pensar, puede hacer grandes planes, uh, planes eh, a, a, mensuales, anuales, quinquenales, pero luego la realidad pasa por encima de todos y al final lo que nos queda un poco, eh, incluso en estos momentos tan, tan duros, es la capacidad que tenemos para adaptarnos a, a esos momentos y poder sacar eh, cosas positivas. Con, con eso tampoco quiero decir que todo sea, <risa> que haya que pensar que, que delante de, del... No es, no es ese de la reflexión, sino que, que creo que hay un, que creo que sí, es, sí que me quedo con esa parte. Me quedo con esa parte por lo que comentábamos. Me quedo con esa parte porque al final pues, eh, pues hemos estrenado, se ha podido estrenar, se ha, eh, ha, tenido, se ha tenido una visibilidad, una repercusión. Estamos hoy aquí, estamos en San Sebastián. Y, y bueno, todo eso forma parte de un camino que, 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 ha, sido, que ha sido duro, porque todo está siendo duro, ¿no? es a todos los niveles, a nivel personal, a nivel familiar, a nivel profesional, durante este año 2020, pero que me quedo con eso. Ok, so, uh, um, the, the thing with, uh, with Jordi um, was that, um, you know, he was working on this project, he also had to um, uh, sort of uh, suspend or cancel some projects that he had to distribute another film, And they had to take many quick decisions. Uh, eventually, with time, they realized that most of the decisions had uh, positive outcomes, but at the time, it, they didn't know. 
and um, he goes back into thinking that, of course, this um, pandemic, uh, what what made them do was uh, realize, like you know, it happens many times in life, but I think it happens more now that you plan and everything is planned and you think that you have everything under control, but then reality hits and um, you have to adapt. And that's the word that he uses. Um, uh, and, and it's probably the thing that uh, he learned more about this pandemic, the, um, the thing about adapting and having to learn that. Um, even though, of course, it was hard personally with the family, with the work, um, like, in, for all of us. Um, but I, you know, I, I echo you. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, um, you know, we're all having to learn very quickly, uh, mm -hmm. and, ad and adapt ad to adapt <laughs> to create these new uh, strategies. And, uh, and I love what you said, because, um, I think it's probably, it's one of the maladies of uh, modern time thinking that we can control everything. Um, you know, technology gives us this sort of uh, weird uh, feeling of believing that we are in control of things. And uh, then something so tiny, 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 tiny can uh, disrupt um, the world completely. And so all of our control is <laughs> You know, it's like the, the documentary that you just had almost finished and you have to, to put in, I hope it's, it's in like in a shelf, you know, and, and, and maybe you, you know, you go back to that at some point. Um, I have to say, uh, I could talk with you guys uh, for, you know, hours. Uh, I, love, I love having the opportunity to chat uh, with uh, a pieces of Spain at this moment, uh, different parts. And I, I wish we could do this uh, with um, some, uh, some tapas in the middle and some good, <laughs> some good Rioja wine uh, to, to accompany. Um, I'm going to invite again the audience, if they haven't seen the film, to take a look at La Receta del Equilibrio, which we are showing as a sneak preview uh, because uh, the film hasn't yet premiered uh, and um, it's, I'm sure it's going to happen very soon. So we have a very special treat uh, here at Cine Latino. And of course, needless to say, uh, hopefully if the, we know the pandemic at some point is going to, you know, decline and uh, we hope we can host you in person in uh, Minneapolis uh, and in Minnesota one day. Uh, enjoy you. Will be a blessing. Tomamos la palabra. Sí, no. tratamos muy bien a la gente y tenemos muy buena cocina también en, en esa zona. Eh, Oscar, Jordi, un placer absoluto conversar con ustedes. Mil gracias de nuevo porque sabemos que es un poquito, bueno, no es tan tarde, son las nueve, nueve de la noche. Para ustedes es no, tarde, aquí... ¿no? Once y cuarto. Once y cuarto. Pero... Once y... Ah, claro, porque es, claro, nueve horas, sí, es verdad, once y cuarto. Pero hoy es sábado. En, en España, y en España once y cuarto tampoco es tan tarde. ¿no? Yeah. It's, it's, Saturday, it's Saturday night. Eleven, eleven in the evening. It's like, you know, the night just began. You know, it's, it's time for go for some, for some copas. Muchísimas gracias. Eh, A vosotros. Muchas gracias de nuevo por estar. Y... Y, y bueno, los Cine Latino at Home es, es, es vuestra casa. Muchas gracias. Y hasta Thank pronto. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hasta luego.